Hey everyone and welcome back. So, hi, how has your day been going? I hope good because mine has been shite. I'm here today because I am going through something and that thing is a reading slump because I read two 800, po uh, blah, 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 blah. Two 800 page books back to back, okay? Um, one of which being A Little Life, the other one being House of Earth and Blood, A Little Life. I did do a reading vlog for that. Okay, it's this video, link down below. So I figured that I would do what I do to ease the pain, and that is yell into this camera about shit that I like. What do I like? Books. Cool, we got that. What else do I like? What else do I love? What else am I obsessed with? HBO's Euphoria. I am obsessed with that show. I just like literally love everything about it from the storyline to the characters to the scandalousness. I just can't stop, won't stop. Unlike the show, I just won't stop. I'm not gonna make you wait two years for content. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just being serious, the ending of season two still has me like pissed off. Like in addition to that season being a mess that I ate up. How dare you end it like that? Like how dare you end on a fucking cliffhanger? That's just rude. So yeah, since I love that show, since I love those books, I thought that I would turn the camera on and out some content because y'all know I'm not reading. So I'm gonna make some content based on books I have already read and shows I have already seen. And so today I'm gonna be telling you about books to read based on your favorite Euphoria character, okay? Okay, this isn't the most original video idea, like I'm pretty sure other people have done this. So if I find any of that, I will link it down below so, you know, people don't accuse me of plagiarism. Whatever, anyway. So, I did not prepare for this video, and that should be fairly obvious considering that it's already been like three minutes and I haven't even told you about the books. So, who's in this show? Alright, um... Uh, Zendaya. Rue, 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 Rue. Alright. So, if you like Rue, I think you would love the book Loveless by Alice Oseman. And the characters are very different, but what I learned about Rue in the second season, specifically, is that she's not a very sexual person. So, that aspect... I'm not saying she's ace, okay? Like, I don't want to label her. But she reminded me so much of the main character in Loveless, who is asexual and goes on that journey to realize who she is, what she likes, and kind of shoots herself in the leg and pulls friends into difficult situations that you shouldn't pull your friends into. And if you know, you know. Yeah, Rue, oh my goodness, episode 5 alone, Zendaya. <laughs> Nothing of that sort happens in Loveless. And the protagonist of Loveless isn't addicted to drugs. But she does have tendencies that Rue has, and they did give me the same kinds of vibes. So we're going with that. The second character, oh my goodness. Alright, so who else is in this show? Cassie, 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 oh my gosh. Yeah, let's talk about her. So part of me wants to feel real sorry for this chick because of how much she shoots herself in the foot. But it's like, so much of this is her own damn fault and it's like, how sorry can you feel for someone who just keeps making the same mistake over and over again and continues to add more to their problem? It's like, girl, you're so stupid. Girl, can you get any more stupid? It's like, what the f Anyway, she is one of the most frustrating characters I've ever met, I've ever witnessed on TV, on any sort of entertainment media. So if you loved her, I genuinely think you are gonna love Charlie from the book Survive the Night, okay? Because let me tell you, <laughs> this book, Survive the Night, okay? These characters are some of the most frustrating people I have ever read about slash watched, okay? So you've got Cassie, who is like, girl, don't sleep with your best friend's ex, okay? Especially because they keep getting back together. Like, you should know that there's still some feelings there and this is gonna cause some problems for you. Oh my gosh. And then Charlie from Survive the Night, literally her best friend gets killed, murdered by a serial killer. And her grand idea is to hitchhike with a random strange man that she has never met, who could potentially be the killer that she's never met before, and she doesn't even vet him, she just kind of like gets into the car. Like, <laughs> these dumb bitches, I swear. Anyway, also if you like Cassie's um, crazy bitch energy in the last episode, you're probably gonna love this, and this is not a book, but check it out anyway. The movie Knock Knock, okay? The vibes. The vibes are the vibes, just saying. Alright, who else is in this? 
Oh yeah, this walking piece of sh um, <laughs> so like, Nate Jacobs, where do I start? <laughs> if he's your favorite character, I have some, 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 your, oh god, you either have a huge crush on the actor and are covering your ears whenever he opens his mouth, or you are someone who would really like this book, Best Day Ever by Kyra Ruda. This story, just like Nate, has a main character who is one of the most insufferable men <laughs> I have ever read from. This is a book about a guy and his wife about to go on vacation, but he knows some shit about her that she doesn't want him to know about her, and he's planning a sort of vacation from hell, and the vacation he plans for her has like more than meets the eye. I'm not gonna spoil. Yeah, if you like this sack of shit, you're gonna like the sack of shit in this book. Just saying. All right, um, who else? Oh my gosh, the hottest guy in the show. And this is just like a personal preference, but you know, I like him older. Um, Cal, Nate's dad. I spent the whole show hating him, but I swear, when I watched the beginning of episode four, I think, giving us the backstory of this guy, I went from violent hate to practically crying and demanding an entire spin-off movie based on those first 10 minutes alone. Did anybody else get those feels? Let me know. So if this guy is your favorite character, one, get help. Two, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Pretty self-explanatory. If you know, you know. Both the book's protagonist and this character himself are despicable pieces of shit that made me cry. I still hate them, but I fucking sobbed. The beginning of episode four. Wh what? Who saw that coming? Another book I think you would love if he is your favorite character is Credence by Penelope Douglas. Yeah, you're probably gonna eat that shit up. I gave that book one star, but some people I know love it. I don't stand that book at all. All right, um, who else is in this show? Let me see. Cat. Cat, oh my gosh, Cat, she was written out of season two. What the fuck? She was barely in that season, and she is one of the most interesting characters in the show, I swear. When I learned about her backstory, about, you know, her writing fanfic and shit, I was like, I want to be this bitch's best friend. Like, she's got the energy that I want to be with, want to be around. And season two came around, it was really obvious that there was so much backstage drama that was, like, really affecting the show. It was really weird. So many subplots at the beginning of the first season were, like, retconned or addressed stupidly in season two. It's like, what? And yet I still loved it. I don't know, okay? It was a mess that I dug. Um, all right, so Cat, Cat, um, Barbie. She gives me the vibes of confidence adventurous, self-discovery, down for a good time, writes fanfic, Ice Planet Barbarian, straight up, okay? Let me- I am not wrong. I am not wrong, okay? If you love Cat, you will love this book. Another book I think you would love is The Dare by Harley LaRue because this is about a girl who explores the darker side of her sexuality and things that Cat did in season one are very similar to the protagonist in this book, and they've just got the same vibes, okay? They've got the same vibes. And both these books are about women finding out about things that they like, that they didn't know they liked, and Kat is like, you know, that's her. That's her, discovering herself, okay? Okay, next. Um, Lexi, Lexi. Uh, so Lexi is the sister of Cassie. It was, <laughs> it was almost like Kat was written out of season two, so Lexi could have more screen time in season two because she is like related to some famous screenwriter or something like that. However, Lexi did make the most of her screen time in season two, and I did enjoy watching her. So there you go. So she's the kind of character who is blooming, who's coming into her own, who is discovering herself for the first time, who is, you know, finding out who she is in the world, who her friends are her personality in high school, a bit of a wallflower. So for Lexi, I'm gonna recommend The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And I know you all are gonna be like, hey, that book is so overread, so recommended. Guess what? I read it for the first time last year. So if I took that long to read it, I'm pretty sure there are other people out there who haven't read that book yet, who are fans of Lexi, who just gotta read that book, okay? Okay, just saying. Next, Fez, Fezco, Angus Cloud. So cute, honestly. Those eyes. All right, Fezco, Fez, drugs. <laughs> lots and lots of drugs. So if you love drugs, I mean, if you love Fezco, <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. Honestly, I'm bored. I could use some trouble. All right, Fezco, 
If you like this guy, I think you would love the book Bunny by Mona Awad, because reading that book is drugs. I think I heard someone describe this book like this somewhere. It's like Mean Girls meets Heathers, written by Stephen King on acid. Those are the vibes, okay? Okay, um, alright, so who else is in this show? Uh, Maddie, 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 uh, okay, oh my gosh, Maddie, Maddie. Bad bitch fire energy. I got two books for you. The first one, The Mindfuck Series by S. T. Abby. Second one being They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. Both these books are about female serial killers who have had enough with the menses in their lives. So if you like her and you want bad bitch, bad fucking bitch, take no shit, punch a bitch if they get in your way, these two books make it happen. And last but not least, my favorite character in the entire show, the best for last is Jules. I want to be Hunter Schaefer's best friend so fucking bad, it's not even funny. <laughs> so she's been my favorite character from the first season up until this season. She is the one who, if I was in high school, I would want to be best friends with so bad. <laughs> um, even now, just like, we would get along so well. So the thing with Jules is like, she gives me like sweet, innocent, playful with the way she dresses and stuff. But then she also gives me danger, you know, daring, danger. For the first part, I'm gonna recommend Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. <laughs> the joy and the vibes are just, you know, what I get when I see her cute side. And then for her other side, the darker side, is Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca. Because that book gives me the vibes of like her dark side and some of the struggles she goes through. Not to the same extent, of course, but you know, that book is about the dark things we do when we get lonely, unhealthy coping mechanisms. It's really hard to articulate why these two books together give me the Jules vibes, but they just do. So yeah, these are some books to read if you like these characters. Again, let me just reiterate, this isn't like books that remind me exactly of the character, okay? Like, no, these are books to read if you like the character and want some of their character traits in these kinds of stories, okay? So don't get mad and be like, this book didn't look exactly like this person, no, 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 you suck. Instead of doing that, why don't you comment down below what you would recommend if you were the one doing this video, okay? Because I want recommendations too. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and comment and subscribe. Share this video with Euphoria fans. I don't know. Do what you do. Yeah, I hope to see you in future videos. And as always, take care. I lose myself.